Hello and welcome to this video about morning CPs and the place in briefing free training. My name is Artur Rahimov and uh, I'm teaching students and teaching Bottega practitioners. And in this video, I want to share with you some ideas I was thinking already for a long time about this situation. Like in Soviet and Russian manuals, you can find the description that corresponds to what type of uh, day, what, sorry, not what type, what time of the day you should do the CP test in order to have this result to be reflective of your health, uh, to be reflective of, or, or to be reflective, let's say, of your progress in briefing retraining. Why I uh, raise this question? Because in Soviet manuals, we can read that students can measure their morning CP, but it is also possible in manuals from 60s, 70s, 80s, you can find the detail that it's possible to measure the CP test at certain time of the day, let's say in the evening, maybe it's 5, 6 p.m. before the meal, or maybe before you go to bed, and then monitor your progress during following weeks or month by measuring uh, the CP test at the same time of the day why it is important because uh, in my school of training i teach practitioners a different thing i teach them that our morning cp is actually most representative of our health and i was thinking about why dr buteyka and soviet doctors like they were talking about okay it's possible to measure cp at different time of the day and then they can students the patients could monitor progress by comparing new numbers with the numbers which we had in the past and see it, like how we progress and uh, i already had videos about uh, this exact topic emphasizing that morning cp actually reflects the period of time when for more than 90 percent of people uh, body oxygenation is lowest so breathing is heaviest and this for again more than 90 percent of people are early morning hours and this is why morning cp actually would be the most accurate parameter which reflects human health so uh, that idea kind of makes sense and that's the reason why again i teach students and practitioners about a uh, crucial importance of the morning cp but the question still remains why soviet doctors and russian doctors and dr buteyka uh, gave also this second opportunity when CP could be measured at other parts of the day and I actually found the answer which seems to me logical so it's maybe more kind of historical video like trying to explain why they did so and what what, what were like the reasoning behind the thinking in this choice and the answer would be following uh, I believe it completely relates to what type of setting and practice uh, we had in 60s, 70s and when people try to use the same ideas now, what type of results they can get when the setting is uh, very different. So the setting that Dr. Buteyka had in 60s and 70s was work with the severely sick patients who were usually hospitalized. They would take a lot of medication, of course CP would be probably less than 10 seconds if the initial CP, and they would have a lot of time to practice breath work. And what is really an important factor here as well, that they were trained by medical doctors and medical doctors you know they like to give instructions like they can prescribe medication that's like okay take it twice a day in the morning and in the evening like this amount of milligrams or whatever like half tablet one tablet two tablets depending again on what we prescribe and i believe uh, uh, would take a briefing doctors in 60s and 70s they probably practiced in the same way so when we had the patients, we would say, oh, okay, briefing exercises, uh, half an hour sessions, uh, four times a day. In the morning, before lunch, before supper, and before bed. So you have four briefing sessions, half an hour long, two hours in total, good amount of breath work. So you need to practice that. And the, in order to monitor your progress, I suggest measure your CP at certain period of the day, let's say it could be before supper maybe before sleep whatever you like and keep this number and later monitor how you progress in relation to this number you see here we have a rigid structure of briefing exercises 
that was suggested by a doctor to a patient, and patient would follow this because, again, these are hospitalized patients. They would take these breathing exercises on the same way as they take like medication or pills. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's again was again the uh, kind of the foundation of the situation, the relationship between a doctor who prescribes something and a patient who is going to follow these instructions. Uh, if we think about modern days, when a practitioner teaches a student, uh, the situation is very different because now the student has a choice when to practice and the student can like, modify his own or her own program in the way he or she likes. And so the practitioner might say probably like, oh, let's do one hour a day. And this is what we usually say to people who have regular works, nine to five or like something like this, because we also have some family chores and other things to do, practicing two, three hours a day for breathing exercises, very hard for like overwhelming majority of ordinary people who have like just mild symptoms and maybe we have again some disease symptoms etc but we are not hospitalized we don't have a lot of free time and therefore when a modern practitioner suggests an idea that you can measure your cp at any time of the day and then compare with cp as your starting point and then you monitor your progress improvement in relation to this cp which could be taken again before lunch before supper or before sleep uh, this idea you see it's a very different uh, design and situation now because when a student is able to modify his program, he may actually target this time of the day, maybe before sleep, which is okay, and trying to get as good results before sleep for the highest CP in order to show that actually he or she achieved the best progress in relation to what was one, two, three months ago, or weeks ago, so that there is again improvement in the CP results. And that, I believe, uh, triggers kind of a wrong goal setting and wrong approach because uh, morning CP is ignored. Uh, that's the key problem here. Whereas in the situation when you again pay attention right from the start and, and when a, a student knows that the morning CP is a key factor of our health, then this person probably would take uh, different care about his or her own lifestyle because now the role of sleep factors becomes very different and that's a, key, a crucial difference in in this type of situation when students have freedom uh, what time of the day they measure the uh, cp in order to have like the parameter which we believe as re which reflects health and how to design the structure of briefing exercises see that's important part because in the first situation which i already described how Soviet doctors trained their patients in the 60s and 70s. They would say, yeah, when you wake up, you do session and before breakfast, before lunch, supper, before sleep. So you have spread throughout the day for sessions half an hour long. And that's a prescription from a doctor instead of medication. And so when we practice this way, you see, like when you measure CP at certain period of day, it would reflect because all these numbers, morning CP and other CP, they would grow all together. But when a person has a choice, it's a different design and person then may have wrong ideas in relation to uh, maybe insignificance of morning CP. See, like, because morning CP here is like even not, could be not mentioned at all as a, a important or key factor of, it's certainly not a key factor of health because a person has suggested to use some other part of the day when to measure his or her CP. So I believe this explanation helps to understand that actually morning CP should be the key factor and why uh, in 60s and 70s and why in Soviet and Russian manuals you can find the idea that CP could be measured at other part of the day and then students later can monitor their progress measuring the CP test at the same time on future days for weeks or months in order to monitor their progress. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.